Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth Channel. So, today's video, we're going to talk about the Gifts and Go mess. Now, interestingly enough, Gifts and Go is another crowdfunding uh, site, website. They're like GoFundMe, but better, right? Uh, a little more free. They're actually going to give money to the people that... Uh, they're going to give the money to the truckers, and they're going to take the donations and do what the donations are supposed to do be given to the truckers the convoy the freedom convoy in canada with that guys some hacker hacks gifts and go and leaves this message part of the message on their website so this message is basically calling anyone who's donating a terrorist and that they're donating to terrorists and they're donating to bad people who are uh, against the Canadian way of life. This was from a hacker. Now, I didn't think hackers operated that way. I thought hackers stood up for shit like the, uh, what the Freedom Convoy is doing. So I was a little surprised when I found out a hacker did this. Anyway, interestingly enough, Prime Minister uh, Tudoroso, I know it's Trudeau, but I like to call him Tudoroso because it sounds stupid, because he is stupid. Not the point. So, he enacts the Emergency Act, so he's taking it to an entirely whole new level. And I think the reason why he's doing that is so that he can implement their version of the National Guards. That's the only reason why you would do that, right? It's like a martial law kind of deal, from what, I, from what I'm gathering from. If I'm wrong, please put it in the comment section below. But still, guys, the president, the president, the prime minister is acting like a real fucking cunt. Like, I mean, huge. I mean, like, I, listen, I followed him for a few years, so I knew he was kind of cunty, but I didn't know he was super cunt. I mean, the motherfucker has a cape on with a big C on the back, kind of cunt. Anyway, so interestingly enough, he enacts that the same day Gifts and Go runs into their problem, being hacked. So this is all starting to look connected. Like, I mean, the hacker is definitely involved with these politicians in Canada trying to end this fucking uh, this convoy. And the convoy is as peaceful as it gets. I mean, hell, man. I don't know if Canadians were watching the liberal Canadians, that is, but the United States was fucking burning back in 2020 with riots and looting and fires and shit. That's, if you want to call it protesting, that's what protesting or, or, or bitches crying look like. Not fucking protesting your freedom of choice by sending trucks and idling them and blowing horns. That's protesting. That's what protesting looks like. People rioting, they said that's what protesting looked like, but again, that's there's a huge difference. That's what violence looks like. Sorry. There were people killed during those things. No one fucking died in these uh, freedom convoys. Not one person. Now you had some liberal fall on top of a car and go, oh, I got hit. But that was about as violent as it got. Somebody faking an injury. Now, how far is this going to go? If I was a Canadian trucker, I think I'd be saddling up to fucking take this all the way now. At this point... The fact that they are turning these guys into terrorists, they're turning these guys into bad guys, they're making them look like fucking shit, it is time for these guys to take it all the fucking way. I would take it as far as this would fucking go. And that includes, and I hate to say this, fighting with the cops. Because the cops, man, the shit that they're doing out there, I mean, like, you know, I, I get it that they're on the order, but at some point in time, even officers got to go, fuck this shit. And take a write-up or whatever. I mean, I don't know how it works in Canada, but I would absolutely be taking a write-up. Now, with this whole give, send, go, uh, $8.6 million is being frozen by this hacker. So this hacker, not only did he shut the website down, but he froze the money. Now, if I'm not mistaken, give, send, go, put up another... They had to build another site or another domain or something like that to get it running again. But still, the fact that this hacker did it... If I was, listen, if I was anybody in this fucking Freedom Convoy, I would fucking hire hackers myself, find out who this kid was, and fucking visit him. It'd be fucking, it'd be baseball bats and pinata, if you guys get what I'm fucking saying. Because this is fucking bullshit. This is taking it to the next level. These people are now, because GoFundMe pulled their bullshit, and people are like, ah, fuck it, give the gifts and go. So now they're fucking gifts and go for helping? No. Some shit, it's got to happen, guys. They are fucking taking it to the next level, and we're still sitting here protesting with signs and shit. The next level's got to happen. Whatever that next level is, and some of you know what I'm talking about, 
It's got to happen. All right, guys. So other than that, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel. You can like and subscribe to this channel. You can like and subscribe to The Angry Prepper channel, The Angry Lensman channel. And you can also follow The Angry Prepper Fitness channel starting in March. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching.